What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 again here today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So I do just want to start off by saying this might be a potential spoiler in terms of whether or not you will find out what the Creeper is or is not in Jeepers Creepers 4. So if you do not want to know if you will or will not get that answer, then you probably shouldn't watch this video. But according to someone who worked on the film and has seen it multiple times because of that, you should not expect jeepers creepers 4 to go into any type of background on what this monster is because apparently what that will be doing is breaching whatever contract that victor has in place between victor of course who who owns the rights and the people who have the rights temporarily right now for however long screen media wants to keep making these movies without having to directly have a say so from victor or have any involvement from him so that is of course the only capacity that we know of at this point of how victor would be benefiting from this legally you cannot make this without going to the rights holder despite what he has done legally you can't just start breaking the laws all around like that you can't you can't do it because then you would face legal trouble as well it's not it's not necessary not worth it you probably shouldn't even bother making the movie if you're going to do it illegally so you know at this stage that's the that's as far as i know is how victor is making any money he apparently has leased the rights to screen media who have a contract in place to use this ip for a, for a certain amount of time and can make as many movies as they want to i guess and then the rights overall will just transfer right back to him and of course he's getting paid for the fact that he's letting them rent his rent the rights to his property that's the only capacity i guess he's getting paid for just from that alone for however long that contract is in place he won't be getting any profit directly from the actual movies that they make but apparently that's what's in place supposedly and according to someone who worked on the film you should not expect jeepers creepers 4 to go into the origins of the creeper because it would be a breach of this contractual agreement victor has in place with screen media while they keep making these movies so for anyone who was worried about not having a satisfying mythology background or anything like that of the sort, you probably shouldn't have to worry about that according to this person because it would be going out of the contract. They would be breaching the contract, probably would have some problems with Victor, and then, you know, it would go south from there. Uh, so as far as like knowing what the creeper is, we can continue to speculate. I think I like that aspect a lot more than just finding out what it is straightforward. Uh, like I said before, I have some videos up where I did mention that there's symbols in the background in the new layer that kind of seem like they would be ways for you to look up these symbols and kind of decipher if that means anything. Kind of put together your own individual story of what you think the creeper is. Is he actually this thing that's a symbol in his layer? Is he tied to this stuff? It's just symbols that were in his layer in these new set photos or in some set photos that we're talking about like old ancient gods or some type of stuff i don't really remember it too fully because i don't have it up in front of me at this moment but they're not going to give you a straightforward answer i know in the cathedral script they tell us that he is some like phoenix demon or something like that in the actual third film that we got he has this hand that if you touch it you see what it is and we don't get to be told what it is because at that stage i'm just convinced you know you're we're not finding out what it is because at that stage you don't even know what it is yourself so it's like don't don't do stuff like that have people see what it is and then your audience is in the dark about it just certain certain things when you have the characters no more than the audience it's sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't in jeepers creepers 3 the way that was done that's a poor way to do it they see what it is don't say anything to you they just say it's ancient okay we already knew that what's the point of this hand being here <laughs> and having having them see the origins but your audience does it and then of course in ways it, it makes that movie a little bit more infuriating because you're not going to have anything cleared up in jeepers creepers 4 supposedly about what was going on with that hand most if anything you could say that they're ignoring a lot of stuff from jeepers creepers 3 it exists but they're doing their own thing they're acknowledging what's came before but they're not going to directly make any references to Jeepers Creepers Street. That's just what everything seems to be lining up with. They know it exists. They're not saying it's not being they're not saying it's not going to be irrelevant, but it's the fact of most of what they be, they'll be addressing seems like it will be heavily influenced from Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. As it should be in my honest opinion because those are the strongest out of this series that we have so far but any any of you on the other side who desperately wanted to know what the creeper is i mean i guess 
you will be disappointed to know that you should expect to not have that answer now again this is again coming from someone who has seen the film multiple times because they worked on it but of course this could be just a way to hide the secret <laughs> i guess the other thing i think i should add on to that is that maybe they aren't because like you guys me included we could all still watch this and come up with our own interpretation of what it is but according to them there is no direct answer as to what it is but that doesn't mean there isn't going to be breadcrumbs left throughout there that would leave you to then kind of have your own interpretation of what it could be i don't know what i don't know what all the details were about that contract victor has in place of course or anything like that but if we're not going to get a direct answer that's fine but it doesn't mean we can't still have something teased along the way so i think that there's a chance we could have some stuff teased like i said before there's symbols in the background in this new layer so who knows what's going on with those symbols and how they factor into the narrative if at all because again those symbols seem to have some type of wreck some type of connection to old ancient gods and stuff like that so we'll see what happens with jubilee creepers 4 but don't expect to get any origin background don't expect to get any revelation about it being a phoenix demon or some old demon that poho indians worshipped or something like that like how i know it was it's sort of like in the cathedral script the comic books give you some type of aztec background don't expect anything like that i don't know why victor doesn't want it to happen other than of course i don't think victor ever had an idea of what this thing was and i think it's better that way anyway the fact that you don't know what it is because then if you don't know what it is that's probably probably a safe thing to say that you don't want to put out anything that completely tarnishes <laughs> what this what this monster's uh type of vibe is or the vibe he gives us because if you get a poor background story of course that that could or could or not make it a little bit less menacing so who knows we'll see what they do with jeepers creepers 4 but apparently you're not going to get an outward answer as to what the creeper is and not anything specific saying you know this is what it is it isn't this it's 100 this don't expect that at all again according to this person who has worked on the film and saw it multiple times uh the reason i'm not naming any names because i don't want to get them in trouble but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video